morning. So um, today I am doing a demo on a, a very new feature, or at least that I've seen, which is um, you can animate the individual letters on uh, text. So it's quite exciting. There were ways that you could do it before, but it involved um, using a bit of a, a freeze frame effect of using animation within, you know, in the slides and stuff like that. So now <laughs> you can do it all in Canva's easy to use feature. So in this session here, I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. So I'm going to uh, share my screen in just a moment. And if you've got any, for those watching live, oh, it's all going on. I don't know if you can hear the phone going. <laughs> So uh, hello, Paul. Thanks for joining me live. I can see a few people uh, watching live streamed into the, the um, Facebook group. So that's great. And um, right. Why is it I can't see everything I need? I've got a lot of windows going. Bear with me. Right, share screen. Okay, so hopefully you can all see that. I can see the comments and we're good to go. So we've got Sam, I presume that Sam Osborough is watching. Hello. <laughs> cool, so let's get rid of this banner on here. And we can crack on. So in um, Canva, there, there is sort of ways that you can use um, animation. So like if I just, add uh, a template here. Let's apply this one for now. So there are things that you can do to animate the page itself. So if you can see here, this one is already set for things to rise, but that's the whole block. Um, but um, in terms of, um, you know, if you want to do something a bit more whizzy with the, the text that's going on here, there are ways that you can now animate the text itself. And it just gives you a bit more control, which I like, um, and that just sort of helps things along. So let me show you how. So if I duplicate this page so that we can try out some different features. So what you want to do is you want to click on the bit of text that you want to uh, animate and do something with. And there are already some various fun features within effects that you can do. Um, so there's stuff that you can do here, which I have covered possibly in a previous training. I can do that again if need be. Um, but what you want to do, in fact, is um, if I click off a minute. So it's there right in front of me. Animate. <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> it's been a busy day already. <laughs> a long week, as always. So it's there. So when you open that up, um, what it does is that your, your menu button gets a bit decreased. Um, and so you um, there, there's always the extra bits there. So it's hidden away. So if you're like, where did that go? It's there. So um, I'm getting some cheeky comments <laughs> in the chat. Paul Green has asked me, do I need a gin ML? Probably it might actually concentrate. I think there is some study somewhere that says that um, alcohol can actually help creativity. I don't know if it would help me with being able to deliver this training. It's more that um, I was running late, so I'm a bit flustered with that. And then like the phone's going off in the background, so it's all going on. Um, I can see that Vic Hobbs is saying hello. So uh, good morning. Um, and someone is saying, glad it's Friday, but there's so much to do. Could do with another work day this week. Yes, there's always like, where, how can we cheat some more hours? I did actually get up early today to try and train myself to have an earlier start. Maybe not quite the miracle morning thing. Um, I'm not ready for a 5 a.m. wake up call, but um, even so. But we're here now and we're gonna learn together. So I've clicked on here. I've got the text animations here that you can see it's different to the page animations. There are some um, similar uh, effects that are the animations to like the whole page animations, but the ones that I think will be particularly interesting to use and I think will be used a lot is um, this block one, which quite nicely swipes a lot. Um, and um, the typewriter one is quite nice because it's sort of, I guess, sort of a bit like the sort of ticker table typing along. Um, you've got ascend where 
and hopefully you can see that they um, they sort of come up in different ways. So the typewriter one, the individual letters are, are kind of coming up one at a time, whereas the ascend one, it's coming up word by word. So that's something to keep in mind as to what um, animation that you would use for your text that you'd use. So bounce again is another one where it's individual letters. So it's got quite a nice effect there. Um, burst, it sort of kind of bubbles into place. Roll, uh, it's a bit like those old fashioned uh, signages sort of in, at the uh, train stations where it's like all like the airports and stuff where it all sort of ticked along. Shift, that one is just another one where it looks like it's letter by uh, word by word skate not keen on this one personally <laughs> this one's a little bit i don't know sort of slides in some people might like it i guess there could be a way that it, it works and then breathe and fade pan these are all just i don't see the point of them really um i mean they're, they're not really much different from the page animation um but it's good that you can choose to only fade in or bring in the, the like that block of text. So you could add this to the different things. So someone said, this is a great for online live presentations, webinars and training sessions. So absolutely. Um, I think it's good also. Um, so yes, you can use it in the context of a presentation just to bring in a little bit of, um, you know, just uh, bring it to life a little bit. Um, but also in the context of uh, a video post, it could bring in a bit more interest as well. So let's have a look at sort of some of my, um, you can have a, a look behind the scenes of what I'm doing. So um, I'm gonna see which ones. So let's have a look at this Friday post that I um, had a little play with. So we could um, see how this looks animating it. So I'm going to make a copy of it for the purpose of this demo. Because I have already shared this before. Um, but you can see how we can make this a bit more interesting. And uh, have a little play. Um, so if I click on there, uh, let's get rid of that tab. So click on there and we animate. And um, again, we can see what looks looks the best. I guess the bounce one could be quite fun or the burst I quite like. Not so much the roll. I suppose in the context of this one, it's sort of like the skate one is sort of it's dancing into frame, <laughs> which could be quite good. Um, but I think I like the burst one. Um, and then we could have something going on, have a different animation effect on that one. So um, the only thing is, is that they were going to be coming in all at the same time. So let's let's have a look at what we could do with this to make it a bit more of like a sequence, because um, having all of those bouncing in at the same time. I don't know if you could see that when um, clicked on there. If you've got them all going on, it's too much for like the eye. Uh, it's just going to be a bit crazy. So if I duplicate that and then I'm going to delete that. So this will be a complete video. So we'll have this slide and then and then we'll remove the animation from this one. So we'll click none. So you can remove it if it's been put on to any of your templates that you're working with. And then let's see what could be quite nice with that one. Um, I think the burst one is quite nice. Um, so we're using the burst one again. I guess I don't think it's a problem to mix and match if you want to, um, but I think it's try not to go too crazy with it. Um, I think in the context of this, this is quite simple. Um, so it, it should work quite well. There's quite a long animation time on this. So I'm going to make it like three seconds because it's not going to need for us to look at Friday for like whatever. Uh, so let's make that three seconds as well. So if I click play, you can see 
that we're kind of getting a bit of uh we're, we're kind of bringing what is what i shared it just as a static image um but you can see how you can bring it to life you could also add a bit of music to this as well so in the context of um, this you're not going to be able to hear it but if you do want to add some audio you could click on the audio thing sometimes it's hidden away in elements as well so if you're like i don't see audio in the tab don't worry it may just be hidden away in elements um, and so you could put something that's quite happy um, and sort of put something there so let's have pretty people electronic uh, dance as i said you won't be able to hear it um oh i can it's just frightened the life out of me <laughs> Because I've got headphones in, it comes in a bit loud. Uh, uh, but you can see when I click on here, it's only playing six seconds worth of this track, which the full track is three points three or three minutes and thirty nine seconds. Sorry. Um, so I could change like um, you can see like how active or low it and you know the, the kind of flow of the music. If I hold down on it it gives you a slightly more zoomed in and uh, so I can slide it at any point so where there's a lot of sort of variation so that's a quieter point in it you could just keep it at the beginning so that adds a bit of music as I said you can't hear that because I've got headphones there's no point demoing in that um, let's have a quick play with the um, back to the context of using these uh, sort of animated text within a um, uh, presentation and um, so let's have a look and see which one would be quite nice to use so I think the the block one could be quite nice for the title so let's delete that page um, and then let's have a look um, at sort of some of these templates pages so I was sort of thinking something where there's like a few bullet points of stuff going on. So maybe this one could be quite good to look at where there's like a whole block of things going on. So we could maybe decide that um, the heading always kind of comes in with a block. Um, there is already some other animation going on. So you could remove that if you didn't want to animate between. Um, but we could also add in some um, other stuff going on here. So we've got animate and we could have typewriter. It, again, it's sort of looking at, you know, is it going to be too much going on? I think that that might start getting a bit crazy. Um, so I think I might like just change that one. Um, So there is within this template, there is some animations in terms of between slides and, and how it like animates the whole thing. So uh, you could remove that, which would mean, so if I click on this page, so the whole elements has got rise applied to it. So you've got two things going on. You've got the animation to uh, the write your topic or idea for the main title and all those elements coming in. So like if you, you could change it to pan, um i think yeah so it's already on rise you've got breathe where it kind of breathes in it, there's all these different effects and so you can really sort of add quite a bit of fun to it um i would say that it's sort of probably a bit you know you don't want too much going on so the the rise does the job so if i get rid of some of the other pages and just do like a uh, preview maybe if we um have that one as well and we can do something quickly with that and then let's delete that no I didn't want delete I deleted the one I didn't want to delete so with this one let's just add a different uh, animation to it um, so let's let's do the typewriter one or okay ascent doesn't really matter um, so let's do a present mode, maybe. See what happens. I don't know what it's going to do. So it, it's, it does bring it in. Let's, 
and it swishes things around. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> um, and then, is there a page missing? It just goes through quickly. I thought there was another page. Why is it not doing that one? Mm, strange. But there you go. So, as I said, just as a little recap, really, um, so that you can do a bit of animation adding, you know, using, you just click on your bit of type text. If you want to do different effects to different rows, you would have to have it, I'm going to speak, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to have to um, separate it out. So like, for example, you wanted to have a different effect on the two, um, two lines of text there you would have to separate it out because that whole effect, not effect, sorry, animation affects that one there. So if we keep that one with block and then change that one to typewriter, you can only do that if you separate them out into different things. Um, <laughs> Paul Green said, bless you. Oh no. <laughs> um, and then with this one, as I showed you, you can just sort of add a bit just to make it a bit more interesting, you know, to uh, a fun post. So hopefully that was all quite interesting. Um, thanks for watching, whether you've been watching on replay or <laughs> live. Thank you for those bearing with me who was tuning in live because I was supposed to be uh, live streaming a bit earlier. Uh, so apologies for that for those who were um hanging about paul green says all good ml worth the wait thank you good i did feel a bit burbly today but <laughs> that's 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 just the way i am today <laughs> love it or hate it this is me um have a good rest of the day um please comment below if you're watching this on replay um if you're going to be using this and also be really interested to know what kind of project you might be using this on um you know what what kind of context would you would be doing this um if you want more training um and help with um helping you to develop a design eye why not consider joining my program i've got a group program called lovely campus circle and um feel free to book a chat and i can talk you through and i will share the link below and um, enjoy the rest of your day bye bye now